Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to match two of this duck versus cake scrimmage. We are here on Labyrinth. Uh, ducks are occupying the red spawn with cake on blue. Let's take a look at the loadouts here. We have the duck religious, Adria's trusty pyramidian, going gap and order for what is bound to be a close range brawl. On the left side it has a uh, flare and a banshee. The Lamella, I believe, is unchanged. Left side double Artem well it has a left side double Artemis Hades and a right side Gatling mortar. All systems buffed. Alright, taking a look at the cake builds, we have what looks to be a close range Gatling with a Huacha, Carinade left side, a Gatling uh, along with a Gatling, and then a oh it's symmetrical, another Huacha Carinade. Flare rear. Already got some fire going down here. Let me take a quick load of this build, the cake foundry, taking some nasty gat mortar. Oh my good lord, where wow. Uh, here comes the mortar, and oh, Cake Foundry is just taken out there. I didn't even get a chance to look at his loadout. Goodness gracious, I'll have to wait for the respawn. Looking pretty good on the duck team. The Devil's Food is not in a good position here. Lamella needs to get that left side going because it is a close range galleon. It doesn't want to um, risk things uh, by getting too close. You sh it should let the uh, more disabled, resistant duck religious do the dirty there and instead support from afar with the double Artemis Hades. Should be more than more than enough to uh, to do what needs to be done. Um, they just really need to they need to hurry and get the they need need to hurry and clear the point, and get the kill. Um, there you go. Pretty good. They need to get some more explosive in. A bit of a bump here. Waiting for that mortar fire to come in. Oh man, the Cake Foundry might be able to, to re-engage at this point. What do they have? They have, uh, ah, it's Hades Banshee, so lots of fiery stuff going down. They really need to kill the Devil's Food. That needs to happen super fast. But that is a one tanky-ass galleon. Looks like Lamella is going to change to right side, try to get the Gat Mortar going. They should be able to just gat it down, honestly. There it goes, it's down. Uh, Cake Foundry is in a 2v1. Not a good situation. However, Duck Religious had this balloon popped. I'm guessing that that was probably a balloon fire. I did not see exactly what caused that. Cake Foundry uh, is in a position to, well, not decap. Uh, but I don't know if it's blocking or not. I don't think so. Um, at any rate, the uh, ducks are still kind of sitting pretty here. They really need to get a quick... Oh, well, anyway. The, the, the ducks are doing okay. Certainly doing okay here. I thought that they needed to clear that target to uh, get, get the point capped, but that is not the case. Cake Foundry is probably going to get wrecked here if those mortars are paying attention. Sure enough, double perfectly timed mortars from Duck Religious and Lamella. Very, very nicely done from the ducks. And it is now, oh, now up to um, the ducks to hold a point against whatever onslaught the cakes can bring. Very strong performance from the ducks. Um, in in this match, I'm kind of curious to see what kind of a formation they're holding. Lamella has its left side oriented northwest, and Duck Religious is kind of patrolling along the northern edge there. However, the uh, looks like the cakes are going to take that most direct spawn in, which is southwest. There, you can see us looking southwest. That is that A1 is the closest spawn in point. Uh, and they're both taking it. That, that's kind of a predictable thing. That's, you know, when you're on Labyrinth, you should always kind of assume that your enemy might be taking that uh, that spawn and kind of get your guns trained in that direction. <coughs> um, it's a good good policy to have, although not all teams abide by that. In fact, it's, sometimes it's well worth uh, a team's interest to um, take a different non-conventional spawn. Hades and Banshee well, Hades at least, emanating from the Cake Foundry. Looks like Lamella's going to go left side, locking that uh, Artemis Hades trifecta onto target. You can see the innate tankiness of the Junker is really, you know, I mean, it's probably, the Cake Foundry's probably in the third clip. Uh, Duck really just really needs to engage here. Not sure what the holdup is. Lamella might be in a little spot of trouble. Um, it's going to be a tough something of a tough mortar shot. However, they're still holding the point. They're doing okay here. Might be worth... Oh no, is Lamella... Oh no, Lamella's in the globe. You gotta watch out for that globe. The globe is like a death trap. Duck Religious is doing okay. Cake Foundry is closing in, despite the fact that it does have an arm time limited gun. Um, God, Lamella really needs to get that balloon buffed. Yeah, balloon is... 
Balloon is being buffed, I think. I'm not sure what happened there, whether that was a balloon pop or what. Duck Religious might be going down here, sure enough. Lamel is in a 2v1, so let's see what kind of trick Splorer has up his sleeve. Excuse me, folks, that is my phone. Let's see what kind of trick uh, Splorer has up his sleeve. Um... To hold that point, is he going to go in for Ring Around the Rosie and drop Tart? Yep, sure enough. I think that this is a good strategy for him, just uh, just to confuse them while um, Ad uh, Adria gets back in. But yeah, he's screening very effectively there. I would drop a little more Tar. Um, but on the whole, he's doing all right. Got to make sure that Balloon is chem sprayed. Sure enough, Mini Gunner is on top of it. Balloon is chem sprayed, they don't have to worry too much there. Adristia is spawning in in the A3. She probably won't be in for another 30 seconds. But Splorer is doing a fantastic job of zoning them out on the globe and holding that point. So no issues here. Not sure what the Devil's Food is doing. I think, okay, Devil's Food is trying to get on an attack heading. Cake Foundry is in the uh, globe, which is really not a good place to be. I know that they're trying to get a better firing solution on the Lamella, but you just really don't want to do that. Lamella is really really sitting pretty here, able to juke both the Galleon and the Cake Foundry. Duck Religious is already re-engaging. Looks like if those mortars are timed properly, the Cake Foundry may get taken out here. Beautiful timings. Excellent, excellently done by the Duck Religious. Really well done. Devil's Food really was not able to contribute effectively to that engagement. Uh, and Splore did a fantastic job of globe screening. So now the Devil's Food finds itself in a 2v1 situation. Ducks are doing really, really well here. Um, they do need to work on a quicker... They just took too long to take the Galleon out that first time. It looks like they're going to go double Gat Mortar, which is not a bad call at all. Duck Religious is up in the in the side, though, of, of the Devil's Food. Not exactly sure what took so long for those Mortars there. Um, kind of curious what ammo they have on there. Vash has Burst, which is unfortunate. He should really be taking Grease versus a Galleon in a Pyramid. No question of that. Definitely needs Greased, but probably going to be enough to get the job done, and it will afford him a little extra range uh, for engagements such as these. Uh, waiting for those mortars to come in, Vash is firing the right at the maximum effective range of the mortar. See, this is, this is, it's not game-breaking, but it's unfortunate. That really, okay, good. that needed to be a kill a bit earlier. It was okay, um, but let's see what Splorer does here. Looks like he's going to go right side. Is he going to do any throttle control, try to, uh, try to get out of the arcs there. Lots of fire going to go down here. Um, Minigun, oh, who's that? Ilmatar is on that gat, pouring tons of fire onto the Cake Foundry. He is Raspberry. Will Minigunner be able to get those mortar shots in? Tons and tons of fire coming in on the Cake Foundry, waiting for that armor to get back up. Lamella's barely scratched here. Its balloon is down to half, but apart from that, very, very little damage at all. Kablamo. Down goes the Cake uh, the Cake Foundry, smashing into the, uh, one, of the one of the wrecked buildings here in Periton. Devil's Food, being a big galleon, you know, it can build a, it can build up a head of steam, but um, you know, it t it takes a while to get up to that top speed. So it is it's gonna be a little late to the party here, and it may indeed come into a meat grind. Uh, looks like the Cake Foundry has wisely taken a non-southwestern spawn, so that will definitely keep the ducks off their toes. Looks like Lamella is gonna lock that left side into position, going for the Devil's Food once again. I would like to see the the Lamella reverse. I don't know why Lamella is going forward here. I'd really like to see it reverse and try to keep that range. Um, but this should be fairly effective. You can see that their GAT is just barely doing anything at all while lots of explosive damage is raining in on the Devil's Food. Holy crap, that was a one-clip kill there. Very, very nicely done by the Ducks. And Cake Foundry is coming right smack dab into the middle of um, a meat grind. Cake Foundry is Again, they got some good hits on the Hades, but they're closing into arm. So it's going to be really difficult for them to... Um, going to be very difficult for them to um, get the kill. Saw a little bit of a moonshine use on the Duck Religious. Not sure if I agreed with that particularly. It looked like it might have been not perfectly well-timed. Not mattering so much. Cake Foundry is taking quite a beating here. Um, you know, these slightly slower kills, they could be killing a bit faster, but the fact that they're taking their sweet time to, to kill actually goads the cake guys into meat grinding, so this is actually kind of playing into their favor. I, mean, I, don't, I don't think it's intentional, but it's actually a useful useful strategy here. One or two more mortar hits will destroy the uh, cake foundry. Sure enough, down it goes. Ducks are in pretty firm control of this match. Um, is Devil's Food, food going to roll onto this 2v1? It looks like it will. Um, 
Duck's recapping a slightly decapped point. Still sitting pretty. Duck really just really needs to turn around. I don't know if they've spotted the galleon. Don't think so, but it looks like the Devil's Food is going to crash into the globe there. Yeah, although that'll... Wow, they could really get a nice right side barrage on the Duck Religious if they're paying attention there. Lamella is going Gat Mortar on the Devil's Food. They do have a clear stern shot, so I agree with that. Uh, raspberries on the Devil's Food. In comes the Mortar. Man, they really, really need Grease. Uh, minigunner has burst. But it's not really mattering. You're getting lots of solid damage, and we're almost getting one clip kills here. Beautiful, beautiful gatting from Ilmatar. Looks like he's just gonna. Oh, Ill should have just gatted him down there. That's too bad. Again, I don't think it matters, but. Um, there you go. Yeah, that's it. That's it. And we are at the 480 now at this Labyrinth match. Um, Cake Foundry is just gonna roll in, I guess. Um, Let's take a look at their throttle, see if they're going to pull back. Trying to see what the engine telegraph is telling us. What is Sandy Hawkins doing? It looks like Sandy is pulling back, maybe, but they're already starting to take some pretty withering fire from the uh, sidearm of the Duck Religious. Looks like Lamella may have left side locked on. Yeah, left side is locked on. Ilmatar has got that greased Hades going. Bit of a tough shot, but Ilmatar can hit those Hades shots when he needs to, that's for sure. He's missing quite a bit here. He needs to practice his greased bad Ilmatar, but um, it's enough to beat back the, the Cake Foundry, so that's good. Um, Duck's still in very, very solid control of this match. Looks like we're going to get some Artemis, long-range Artemis, and yeah, this is not good for the Cake Foundry. Wow, just ripping them to pieces. Oh my god. Just really, really a tremendous amount of pretty well-coordinated firepower. Apart from that uh, greased Hades we were seeing, <laughs> Ill knows I can be hard on him because I think he's a freaking amazing uh, Hades gunner. So hopefully he won't be too upset. But uh, gotta practice your grease, Ill uh, Apart from that, very very good job from the Ducks. Um, cakes are. I just feel like um, you know it's it's a pretty good idea on um, Labyrinth if you see your teammates going down. You need to just back out and regroup if the, if the enemy holds the point. If you have the point, or if they haven't capped yet, then you can meet grind. But here we see, I think the cakes are are doing the right thing. They're kind of pulling back. Devil's Food and Cake Foundry are gonna go in together. Although at this point, we're past the 570. Ducks are still in 100% control of the point. Looks like um, it really looks like it's it's not gonna matter at this point. I think the ducks have it solidly in the bag. I don't even think the the cakes will be in firing range by the time the game ends. Maybe the cake foundry could get a few Hades shots off, but I think they're just kind of going their own separate ways. And the Ducks pull it off 600 to nil. So well done, uh, Adria Explorer and crew. It was a, a very well executed battle. And um, congrats to all involved.